Hi friends, welcome all of you back to my YouTube channel. This is Virtual Teacher. I'm Pawan. Today I'm going to show you how you can install and run Windows 7 inside of Oracle VirtualBox VM Manager. So this is the 100% perfect and stable way to run and install Windows 7 inside of Oracle VirtualBox VM Manager. So without further discussion, let's start our video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel, turn on notification at and join with me. friends first of all you need to download the this image file for windows 7 you can download that file from given link in the description of this video then you need to download and install this oracle virtual box manager on your pc but i am not going to guide you to install this one on your pc because it's too easy to install then you can uh, see this window after launching oracle virtual box manager on your pc then you need to click on this new icon now type here windows 7 then if you have downloaded 32 bit version of windows you need to select that one if you downloaded uh, 64 bit version of windows 7 you need to select that one then click on next now you need to select the ram size for your windows 7 os in uh, my case i have 8 gb ram installed on my pc so i can upgrade uh, my virtual box ram into 3 gb or 4 gb likewise then click on next uh, again uh, in here you need to uh, create a virtual hard disk now now click on create option again click on next when it comes to here you can uh, select this fixed site because it will significantly increase the performances of windows 7 that install it inside of oracle virtual box manager because if you selected the dynamic allocated option it will uh, reduce the performance of windows 7 so you need to select fixed size then click on next again when it comes to here you need to select the hard drive size for your oracle virtual box manager in my case i am using 50 gb but if you have limited storage on your PC you can continue with 32 GB now click on create and wait until completing of this process this will take some time to complete so I have successfully created a hard drive for install Windows 7 on my PC so you can see this is the setting file that we have successfully created to install Windows 7 so we need to go to setting of this uh, newly created Windows 7 virtual uh, manager then you need to uh, follow me and change these settings go to system and process option then enable this one go to display setting and enable 3d acceleration sometime this may not support it to your pc then you can uh, increase the video memory then the warning is remote successful then click on storage and select the windows 7 this image file that we downloaded from the given link in the description of this video enable these two ticks choose your this image file then we need to enable a uh, shared folder option to access our files on our original windows os click here and choose a folder from here in my case i have already created a folder to this process like this now select that folder click on read only and auto mount options and click on ok now click on again ok and launch your windows 7 to installation process ok guys then you need to click on next and finish this installation process
when it comes to here you can see we have successfully installed windows 7 inside of oracle virtual box manager now i am going to enable the share it folder of uh, oracle virtual box manager and uh, your original os to share files between these two os's uh, then you need to click on uh, this devices option and click on insert cus addition cd image now click here and go to my computer then open this one now click on this software run it and uh, you need to clump with this installation setup now click on reboot ok friends now we have successfully launched our windows once again now you can see our shared folder is also working if you want to share anything between these two windows or uh, 7 and 11 OSs you can use this folder to do that and also if you want to install a software uh, th that uh, you sh uh, shared to this folder you need to copy that software into your windows before going to install that one on your PC so this is the end of our video before going to ending of this video i need to tell you uh, this one also if you want to get this uh, one into full screen like this you need to click on this view option now click on this virtual screen option and resize it to 640 multiplied by 480 then you can uh, get the full screen like this So this is the end of our video. Thank you all for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel, turn on notification and join with me.